Matthias De Ligt scored a wonder goal uh, that gives Bayern a 1-0 victory over Freiburg Gab, but a bit of revenge for getting knocked out of the German Cup. Bit of revenge, more importantly, three points, which is obviously what uh, what they need to stay ahead of uh, Borussia Dortmund. Uh, I don't think this was a great performance uh, from Bayern, but they did give it their all. They showed that they were, they were mm. mentally tough. What and we saw, by the way, Musiala and Muller together, but that means you sacrifice a central midfielder. Kimmich back there on his own. It was fine against Freiburg, who mm. parked the bus. Um, but you also realize you can take a million shots without a center forward, without Mane and Gnabry performing. Mm. Um, you're going to have trouble creating clear-cut chances. Um, Yusef Makoga comes off the bench and gets a late winner for Dortmund against Union Berlin. Uh, are they still in the hunt? They're still very much in the hunt. They're two points back, and this is a really good performance. And honestly, they battered Union Berlin. They, they, they won a goal up, should have scored more. Daniel Mullins playing well. Gave up that goal. And in the past, you would have seen Borussia Dortmund crumble. Oh, my goodness, we're coming, you know, two defeats in a row. This is We're going to drop points again. But no, they didn't. They kept knocking, kept knocking. Happy for Mokoko, too. I think this was his first goal since November, something like that. He gives them something different so mm -hmm. to Sebastian Haller when he comes on. Yeah. Uh, well done, Dortmund. And... You know, roll on the title race. Back to Bayern, Joshua Kimmich has apologized to Freiburg fans for what he called an, quote, unsportsmanlike celebration in their victory Saturday. Uh, Don, where do you stand more generally on this uh, about your, your player, you scored a goal, you're celebrating. Should you just ignore the opposing nah, fans? Do you have nah. a responsibility? Listen, if you're getting a little bit of abuse or a bit of stick, there's no harm in giving a little bit back. As long as you don't overstep the mark. I don't think that's what I saw when would, when Kimmich made the gesture. Would a Newcastle fan scoring for Sunderland against Newcastle? I can't think of who you mean here, Gab. Tell us the story. I'll tell you the story. So I'm obviously a massive Newcastle fan. I've been on the Gallagher end, sat, stood on the Gallagher end all my teenage years. All my family are black and white. Massive Newcastle fan. I signed for Sunderland. Taking the coin from Sunderland? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I went back home to live in Durham, which is, which is a stunning place. Uh, so we go to St James's Park, hostile atmosphere, loads riding on the game. I know how much it means to both sets of fans, but I'm a pro. I'm now a Sunderland fan because I play for them, so I want my team to do well. Uh, Gary Speed scores for Newcastle, they take the lead, and I scored an unbelievable left foot volley into the stanchion. My first thought was, I'm getting so much stick. Where's the Sunderland badge? Mwah, 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 mwah. Right in front of the Leaser's end. So I give them it. Five minutes later, went to take a corner, coin off the top of the head. Fully deserved. Fully deserved. Fully deserved. So you I've provoked the, the Newcastle badge. fans. No, no I'm joking. That's what you're saying. Joke. You deserve the coin. Yeah, but joking aside, we don't advocate coins <laughs> off the course. head. But you know, I'm a man. If I'm man enough to kiss the Sunderland badge <laughs> at St James's Park, being a Newcastle fan, I've got to be man enough to take what's coming my way. All right, and you never apologise like Joshua Kimmich. Are you apologise? Are you going to apologise to no. Newcastle fans now? No. All right. No, I was Sunderland player, Sunderland <laughs> fan at the time. All's good in love and war. All's fair in love and war. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.